up what is up welcome welcome children and adults i'm sorry i'm early nah i'm sorry i didn't stream yesterday because yeah i was watching the presidential interviews on tv but yeah welcome welcome children and adults it's time for another episode of the nem nem gaming sketch and impact stream you're with your boy is your boy nem 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 and hey man me thank you very much for tuning in for liking the stream yo <clears throat> what's up sophia what is up too early thank you very much for tuning in and yeah, we're gonna do everything in this list tonight, including this subterranean trials of Drake and Serpent thing. But yeah, we're gonna do this Jade Chamber Rising because I am short on primos right now. Uh, first off, uh, yeah, let's rush this because I heard that the quest takes an hour and a half. So without further ado, let's begin. Happy Sunday, everyone, one and all. Thank you very much for tuning in. I had sushi for my Add meal of the day today. It wasn't that great though, but it's chock full of mayo. If if you want to ask, which is fine. Wait, let me just check my audio, by the way. Audio. Audio is good. Not sure if you heard that though, but I just did the mic. Yum sushi, yeah, it's just like makiros. It's not, it's not, it's nothing glamorous though. I just spent like 10, 10 bucks on like 40 pieces of sushi, and it, it doesn't even taste that good. Yeah, <laughs> too much mayo. Oi, Papi Robert, thank you very much for liking the stream, Comrade Robert. Thank you very much for tuning in, bro. And with that, let's see what we need to do tonight. Um, oh yeah, Shao Talent Books. Eating popcorn again while watching. Thank you very much for doing so, Papi. Appreciate that. Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna do this. 
And uh, how is your weekend, guys? I was actually just watching uh, Daredevil on Netflix. I didn't know there was a uh, watching order for that. I'm not in the mood to watch Jessica Jones or Luke Cage. And no one notified me that, you know, they're intertwined or some shit. I, I guess I, had to, I have to uh, watch everything. Yeah, that sucks. Anyway, we're gonna do story quest tonight, the J Chamber shit, as well as the Enkanomiya shit. So, yeah. It's another long stream, bro. I promised I was gonna do retro Sundays. But, you know, I was thinking I didn't do anything yesterday. And my Genshin is a bit. Held back because of my quest logs. Vengeance will be mine. I condemn you. So let's do this first. Nuclear bomb. Nuclear Eula. Yeah, we're gonna do this four times. And then we're gonna convert the resin once we're full up. Which I think is gonna take a while. Oh, gold. Nice. Continue. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna... Do experience books from now on. Until I max out every main character I have. Papi Robert was saying... Papi, I, I think there's another quest for Zhongli Ganyu Banner. Yeah, there is. That's why I want to finish this up. The Jade Chamber hasn't risen yet. Cause you lazy. Rack and ruin. I really resonate with that Bruno Mars song. Today I don't feel like doing anything. Nothing at all. Ah. Oi, continue. That was quick. 40 seconds, yo. Uh-huh. Okay, let's leave. In Genesis crystals, I, this is high bear. What the fuck? Um. Okay, I won't say no, but thank you. I think. So 
Someone sent in Genesis Crystals. Yeah, I think it's High Bear though, because it's. I'm not sure. Maybe it's a Sunday? She's in the mood for giving shit? Did Mayo agree what you said yesterday? What? What did I say yesterday? What? The fuck was that, dude? But anyway, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Alright. You know what? Since. I'm thinking. No, no, no. What did I say? I, I know that I didn't stream yesterday, Bobby, but. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> okay. Uh, sure. Let's go all in on this one then. You know what? I'm gonna pull on weapon banner though, because it's. I never pull on weapon banner. Let's see if we get 5 star, okay? Uh, all of it? Yeah, why the fuck not? Oi! What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Fuck, dude! Okay, thank you! <laughs> oh my gosh! And the flute. Oi, what the fuck, dude? Wait, if that's Cyber, I'm gonna thank her later because I got, I just got Primordial Wing Java, Primordial Wing Jade Spear f because of that shit, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, all right. I ain't complaining. <laughs> I ain't complaining that much. Ah, all right. How about that flute thing, though? Yeah, that was a big what the fuck, dude. Lucky. Weapons Enhance. I saw the flute earlier. Wait. Okay, let's refine this. The R4 or yeah, R4. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's nice. I mean I should give you Genesis because only be one turn in it. <laughs> no, I, I think Hyber sent in, yeah. Or maybe someone made a mistake or something. Maybe. I'm not sure, bro. But yeah, we got it, pa. Pitang ina. I got Shao's signature weapon for some reason. Think. Think the Mihoyo gods, Kagi. What the fuck, indeed? I need this, which appears on Monday. Fuck. I don't have this. What the ina, dude? That was so lucky. What the fuck? Anyway, I just. Yeah, this is not a what the fuck stream, but yeah. Thank you very much, Ibel. I think that's Ibel. Because she's the only one who, who knows my ID. Papi, I have that weapon. I don't want show, but Hu Tao's weapon. Ah, what's that Hu Tao weapon again? Deathmatch. Wait, what was that thingy again? This one. I need this one though, right? Fuck! It's a new crafting shit all over again. Putang ina naman, oh. Where is philosophies of prosperity? But yeah, that was lucky though. Lucky. All right. So, since we got that weapon, dude, yeah, I'm gonna crown this next week because it's seven hundred thousand. Damn it. 450,000. Puta, dude. Nice. Good job, Gago. Let's go. Tang ina naman. You know what? I've been saving up my ano. My, uh, what do you call this? My thingy for this black cliff pole. But since I got the other one, I'm not gonna buy this anymore. Let's convert this to Primo Gems. Talang. Or maybe I can buy other stuff. I think let's wait. 
24. Okay. Anyway. Uh, let's do commissions first before we do any of the quests. Tangi na suerte nun na, Gagi. Ang weird. Oh, and by the way, Papi, wait and save those. Ah, sige, dude. It's a good thing I didn't, uh, I didn't spend those. <laughs> Papi Eman would be so jealous. I got Chow's signature weapon. But it's it's really just an, eh, another common 5-star, eh? Because some weapons you can get. Sigi. I'm gonna do commissions now. BRB. Nain na swerte gago. And I'm a bit sleepy though, so my reaction is a bit blah. More speed. Alright, Papi Robert, since you're my only viewer tonight. Papi, that's what happened to me when I got the weapon before it too. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not very reactive because, as I said, I'm really, really sleepy. <laughs> I just want to take a nap, dude. But... I want to stream because I miss you guys. Wait, where is it? Where is she? More speed. Wait, does this count as... I know. Does this count? Oh no, crit rate pala yun. Ah, it doesn't count because I was going towards this. Alright, alright, alright. Lithic Spear. No, Papi, when I wish for Shao's weapon for fun, I got it. Wow, hero for fun like Saitama. It was in his first banner. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna build Chao's weapon up though, since I got his signature weapon. <laughs> Dude, that was so lucky. I got Chao in Chao's banner in 50 50, and I got him his weapon again just before the banner is about to end in two days. But the. If that's not lucky, I'm, no, I'm not sure what is. Pero, let's go. Let's do questings tonight. Tonight! We're gonna do questings so I can get more primos. And since we're not here, we can be as petix as we want. Brace yourself. Brace yourselves. Oh, okay. More speed. Oh. Crush. Putang <laughs> ina. You know what? Playing this on mobile like I did last night because I was watching the uh, Jessica So interviews, right? And playing this on mobile is a bit harder than I expected. It's maybe because I haven't cut my nails yet. That's why I have like long ass nails. But that's aside the point though. <laughs> playing Genshin on mobile is difficult because the ping is different. Look, I have 89 ping here, but on mobile it's a consistent uh, 140 for some reason. So I'm not sure what what happened, Mioya, but fix your shit, please. Let's play. Clear. Next one. Mm hmm. All right. We're gonna do quest things tonight. I hope we can finish everything. Including, I think, should we do the hangout events as well? I think we should though. Lahat na natin. Oh, you probably have when you just missed it, Gagi. High Bear actually, I think that was High Bear though. Gave me Genesis Crystals. 
And I got the Primordial Wing Jade Spear for Xiao. Because I pulled in the weapon banner. What's up, Papi Emma? Thank you very much for sharing the stream! Shine down. <laughs> Thanks for sharing the stream, bro. Done. Wait long. Ah. Oh, diba sabi sayo, eh. But I think I was building up PT, eh. And they arrange, they arrange for my other PT to be erased. Papi, this is the levels of ours. Oh wait, levels of how hard to play. PC best, laptop great, not that great. Consoles okay, but hard. Mobile the worst to play with. That's in Genshin, Bobby. Shao main yarn. Yeah, gagi wait lang, Bobby. Yeah, man, I'm gonna show it to you. Yeah, actually, it's true. I was using, uh, I was supposed to be using my Xbox controller for PC, but I decided against it because mas nai ako sa ano keyboard. Yeah, I got ano uh, ano to KMJS kapuso mo Shao Shao Wing Spear. <laughs> but anyway, I got the signature weapon, Bobby. <laughs> the only thing we need to do now is raise the crit rate. And crit damage. <laughs> ah, excuse me. Okay, so as I said earlier, we're gonna be doing all all of my backed up quests tonight. So since Sky lang dalawa nanjan, suffer through this boredom with me. Where the hell is the quest, bro? Commission, where are you? Ah, congrats. Now you to raise the crit rate because of the weapon. Yeah, actually, ano, I followed your advice as well. Since we got that 5-star thingy, we also got a few, uh... A few... Uh, what do you call this? Masterless Star Glitter. Should I buy this? Hey, hey! Wala, meron na ako eh. Should I? I don't think so, no. <laughs> Okay, I wonder where my enemies are. There is no escape. Let's play. Wow, bang again! And Papi, there are a lot of secret chips in the that give primos. Yeah, it, it gives like this 15 primos or something. So we're gonna do that tonight, or if we don't. We're gonna do Primo Mondays. I mean, uh, Hangout Mondays. Beg for mercy. Shine down. Can yes, these guys no. get down, please? Shudder. God damn, dude. Get down! There is no escape! It's bad enough you don't get frozen. It's worse that I can't hit you. Crush. Wait, there is a leak. The castle will not come in 2.5. It did good. We can save up more. Shudder. Yeah, I'm gonna go with full team animal. Crush. Yeah, if I get Kazuha, that's, uh, that's gonna replace my Venti. And I'm gonna replace Illusion my shot. Archer with Diona. Diona Tan. <laughs> so that's better, we can save more Primos. Oh, come on, dude, move! Ba ba! Huh? There okay, there's no a cry version of that. Hey, yeah. Mangi, thank you very much for liking the stream. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for tuning in, bro. Or sis, or whatever Must you are. Be. God damn it, dude! Baba! Why don't you come down? Come the fuck down, bruh. Else I'ma be sniping ya. Give me Oi. Alright. Done, bitch. And a combo that is Cryo and Hydro. But the floaties never do freeze though. I'm not sure if they're uh, basically immune or whatnot. But yeah. So I'm not gonna pull anymore because I, I remember I have like 40 pity on the Shenhei banner. Uh, wait. Papi Emon was saying, no, I think Venti is better with Shao because he's a better CC and better for Shao. Then equip him with Favonius Swarbo so Shao's ult will always be up. Yeah, I already have a battery, Papi. 
with Barbare ko yung. Wait lang ah. Let me just count this. 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So I got 40 pity here. Sige, I I'm gonna use 20 na lang for a show. Add Astro. Thank you for comp. Blump. 136. Alright. All right, now the fun part begins. Should I uh, should I do this or this? Should I do this or this? Yeah, I think I should do J Chamber Rising first because I was notified that this is a long ass quest. Long ass quest. Let's go. Use Gasa with Dido because he will amplify his pyro damage. Hmm. The Archon one first. Sige, let's do this. And yeah, uh, as you remember, I don't skip my Archon quest dialogue, so this might we might be here for a long time. Because I want to record this for posterity. Pom 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 pom. Siguro pag dito tayo nagwin trace ang hirap eh, no? Then the Enkeni win is not that long. Oh, really? That pala yung nainuna ko. Aha. Yeah, so my rant earlier tonight was... I was watching their Devil Season 2. And I was not aware that I need to watch the tie-offs that Luke Cage. Okay. Here today to make an What's up, Audrey? What's Thank you very much Perhaps for tuning in. You will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? That's a huge project! That's a huge project! So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. I'm on pera. Lady Ningguang. Wait, is be there right back. Can be of service? Patience. I just need to get Since some M&Ms. Since the news made it out a few days ago, I have already had many people contacting me to declare an interest in joining the project. Nevertheless, I do have a few matters I should like to entrust to you here today. Okay, snack time. The building site has been chosen, and most of the materials have been assembled. Three key items are, however, still outstanding. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. What the hell are Wonder Cores? Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite, or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials <laughs> will have the opportunity to ask me a question. <laughs> Fast talk you with may ask Ningguo. me anything. And I will give you an honest answer. I trust that this means of compensation will be to everyone's satisfaction. These things won't be easy to get hold of. But if it means a chance to get some inside information on Leo at Harbor's development plan for next year... Then it's the deal of a lifetime. Information from Lady Ningguang is priceless. Whoever gets to it first takes the market. 
Isn't that insider <laughs> trading, bro? I won't divulge too much, but I heard some murmurings about some plot strike just the other day. So excuse me all, but um, I have some business to do. Better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us. Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This is a huge deal! Let's get involved! Hey, you know, you know. So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? I haven't done that quest yet, Ash. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Providing the question pertains to something I am knowledgeable about. Really? Ooh, the Paima will ask you about how to run a business! Then we'll never be short of Mora ever again! Run a business called Mind Your Own, Paima. Of course. But how much information I share with you will depend on your performance. Kinky. The construction of the Jade Chamber requires a great deal of space. The abandoned mine outside the Golden House has been selected as the building site. Once you have collected the materials, please take them there. I have other business to attend to now. Otherwise, I would gladly escort you to the site in person. When you do arrive, please seek out my secretary. Remember, this is a race against the clock. A rare opportunity presents itself to you. Do not let somebody else snatch it from your grasp. Super busy. Come on, we better get hey, what's up, Happy Alec? Thank you very much for tuning in. I'm eating M&Ms while Friends watching this story. Uh, huh? Look, it seems like there's something kind of fishy going on over there. Ma'am, you seem like an eminent and distinguished young lady to me. I can see that you're easily gonna win this procurement contest Lady Dingwang has set up. As it happens, What's up, guys? thanks for liking this stream, Papi. Information about the materials that I really think might interest you. Come on, let's find somewhere a little more private, and we can get down oh, yeah, to brass some tacks. Huh? No, I don't need it. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Hey, come on, don't go. Why don't you stand there after her? Oh, right, yeah. Returns on the wind. Who is the crane, by the way? That? They said they had some useful information. Information's okay. just what we need right now. Let's follow them and see what we can find out. Gonna rough them up like they're devil. Huh. They're not here. Hmm. Where are they? Let's keep looking. I finally got show at my 30th. Oi, 26 PT. Good job, Bappy. Like at the beginning of the stream, I just got Shao's uh, main weapon. So wait. <laughs> Well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You give us some mora, we give you a little info. Everybody's a winner. Boss, I got a bad feeling about this. Look at her, the, the white hair, the, the energy she gives off. I, I'm telling you, there, there's something different about her. So what? She's loaded. How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you, I don't need your information. If you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... And no I'm more back. excuses. <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. You got yeah, the James Yeah, I did. You. I did. Papi, Strolling I did into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full you got of food. Kasi and only and Sana a few ako, eh. Then she knew a kiosk. Details, Then please. one mean restaurant. <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna Same eat Turkish story late. Each time. 
You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. Mali mo, gutom lang siya. How could you be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her for everything she's worth. Oh, you again. Millilith? What are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! Silence. How dare you threaten innocent civilians? You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please. Shut up, scumbags. I'm w wait, I'm gonna restart my phone. No worries about me, man. <sighs> Alec was saying, good for you, I got the other spear, no comments because it's... Oh, is that what they call? Calamity something. Calamity Shenhua. Quelder. Shenhua. Shenhua? My name. Boobies. Oh, so your name's Shenhua. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. Ah! You, you can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Lila Harbor! There are laws against that kind of stuff, you know! Laws? Love the land. No, <coughs> apparently not. Me. Really? So, how exactly have you... Okay, be right back. I'm just gonna throw something in the trash. One sec. back what was that noise that would be my stomach growling hmm i haven't eaten enough mm -hmm. she's so honest wait that's right mm. they said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other but only took a small bite of each dish then of course you're still hungry so anything in particular you're hungry for adeptus mm. cuisine Chinsen, glaze lily violet grass these are my usuals hmm Medicinal herbs? Yung ko hindi naglutsaan ganina. <laughs> anyway, Bubu Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenha there for a big medicinal meal. After all, you can't work on an empty stomach. Okay. <clears throat> oh, speaking of which, uh, wait lang. Nakuha mo PJWS. Yes, I did. Okay. Let's deploy this. Yeah! 
All green. Hey, Edna Ferreira, thank you very much for liking the stream, Edna. What is up? I got. Where does she fit? Papuso, Jessica, so. Are you here to buy some Audrey was saying, Chi Chi Shao is you somewhere, and you. Well, you do that quest, but you won't see them Jameson, if you. Jameson, Glaze Lily, and Violet do. Grass, please. Half a pound of each. To find Chi Chi. What kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. Thank you. Sending it up to farm I already farmed for the uh, show uh, talent materials, though. So we'll do this tomorrow. It's on a Monday as well. <sighs> My hunger Ayan, has now abated. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. Rather awful. <sighs> though they were not completely devoid of I want of to find Chi Chi. Why, Audrey? After consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So. How can you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go Pity, to the I'm not sure if restaurant Papi, but I think it's just around 50 or 60. Food and eat it all in one go. Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the <clears throat> mountains, Yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountains. That proves it. Paimon knew she was an adeptus. Mm, enough about me. What are your plans from here? Oh, right. Paimon almost forgot. We came out to take part in the rebuild the Jade Chamber. Competition, and and now we're probably super behind because we've been held Aunt up for so long. Oh really? Hmm. Tita niya palen. I see. Hmm, oh I no! Heard something about the contest nice eyes when though. I was passing by. Ah. <laughs> yep. You get to ask Ningguang any question you want if you win. Were you interested in the contest too, Shenha? Hmm. I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber. But until this point, I had no intention of joining a contest. However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow! You really don't have to. But having an Adeptus help out will make things a whole lot easier, so... Let's join forces! Then let's not delay. I have a plan. Grabe namang taiga, pian dude dang ina. Ang halay naman ni Shen, hey. What the fuck, dude? You can fit like three swords there. Oh, that was not a euphemism. Just literal swords. We simply need to dispose of everyone who is currently ahead of us. Then we alone shall become the victors. Oh, may talaga si Paimon. Yeah, that's actually shit. Really. Her writing is but very I hear shit. that competition is in essence about conflict and one-upmanship. Look, we want to win this competition. Fair and, and why is she wearing fair, diapers, okay? dude? Sunset Vermilion Knight, Wonder Course, and Adepti Sigils. Let's start at the top of the list and work down. So, for Plastrite... I was wondering who I could hear Oh no, it's Baishu, there. Snake Man. So, Orochimaru? It's you. Baishu? What are you doing out here? Lady Ningguang wishes to purchase a large batch of wound dressing. We're running low at the store, so I came out to fetch the ingredients personally. Huh? How can Lady Ningguang need so much wound dressing all of a sudden? I'm not too sure. I did hear she's looking to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Maybe for its first aid on site? I didn't ask, though. Far be it from me to pry into my customer's personal affairs. Oh, and she though. also borrowed Chi-Chi. <clears throat> Meaning Boo Boo Pharmacy is very short-handed right now. I don't suppose any of you are looking for part-time work by Itong any chance? Itong Baiju na to, nakakuha siya na slave labor kay Chi-Chi. We've got a 
What's up, Aki? Thank you very much for tuning in. We're doing the uh, Rise of the Jade Chamber thingy, Crane Quest. I'm in Yuma Kosep show, catching a cheese to question the kind of made a time ago. Ah, okay. Right, used in the Jade Chamber, yes? There is some mention of it in the Seven Mountain Treatises. When activated, Sunset Vermilionite rises up all the way into the clouds. It's very rare indeed. As far as the records show, virtually all Sunset Vermilionite in existence has been mined and taken possession of. But the Feiyun Commerce Guild would know far more about this than I do. Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Why don't they just fish out Thanks, the Baiju. old jade chamber and get the materials You're there though? Quite welcome. Good luck to you all. And if there's anything further you need from me. Just come to the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Boo Boo Pharmacy. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh yeah, okay, wait, I have something to show. I got Shao's weapon though! Primordial Wing Jade Spear! Ha <laughs> ha! Disappear! Useless! Useless! Worthless! Worthless. Disappear! Alright, anyway. Enough voice acting. Let's go to where the hell he said. What the fuck? Will of Stone? What the fuck? I have a conflict quest, bro. Tang ina naman. Ha, sil, bro. Okay, I think we're gonna do every quest here right now. What tang ina? Pang need mo muna gawin yung world quest yun bago matuling isang parts or conquest. Yeah, like this, I have a conflict. Nang pota. Kala ko smooth sailing na tayo dito eh. Yeah, I have to do a quick segue to one of my uh, side quests. Will of Stone. Pota. What's up, Mishao? Thank you very much for liking the stream. Speaking of Mishao. Huh! Huh! Yes, Shao is with his weapon. I just got it right now. Wait. Papi Shao, thank you very much for sharing the stream, bro. Appreciate that. Thanks for following pala. 250 days, bro. Good job. But umiido yung ano wing jade spear. And where is this, dude? Where is the girl? Calamity and Jade Spear are good for Xiao and numbers calamity is better, but overall Jade Spear why boost crit rate passive is useful, less painful farming artifacts. Yeah, it's true. And you know how much I hate farming though. I think there was just fifty. Because remember I really don't pull some mga so weapon banner. Happy first day, yeah. Uh, fake account Eman is following us for one day, guys. Wait, where is the quest, bro? Sure, kala matagal na ako meron yun. Wala nga lang siya. Oh no, that sucks. Sucks for you. <laughs> Kidding. Wait, where is the girl? Where is little Lou? Is she trapped inside of these amber shits? Is she underground? Hmm. There's quality here. Is she here? Huh. Ah. Where the fuck, dude? Huh. Where? Yahoo! 
tayo but also that I gave it to Jong. Eh, di kayo na ma may ano, Wing Jade Spear Havers. Kung gusto mo specific fans kam talaga, na ako hindi ako panay bigay lang din sa akin. Come on, dude. I want to do the Jade quest, not this one. Damn it. Wait. Yeah, it's still there's still a conflict. Oh, putang ina naman jai to. Jai mo jai. <coughs> Sana ulhu ako matagal na may shop pero walang weapon. Hey, wait up. Hold up. All right. I'm gonna change to Yula because I don't have damage for this shit. Although I did like the faster movement speed for Shao and Vente. Yeah, but it's a mo little Lu. I wanna do the Jade Chamber quest, not this one. Tampoda. Bilis, tulak, tulak, tulak. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Illusion shattered. <laughs> Think you can get away? Yeah, jump away, dude. Yahoo! Yeah! <laughs> Crush! Wait, are they gonna massacre the little girl? Shut up! Tang ina mga hili trill to. Shine down. Life goes on. Beg for mercy. Ngayon pa nagpupul ka. Yeah, dude, go pull on the weapon banner. This is the first five star I've gotten there, by the way. Because I never really really pulled from the weapon banner. Putang ina mo. It is bad enough I have to do this shitty quest. <sighs> it's bad enough I have to do the shitty quest. I wanna do the no the G chamber shit, not this one. Jai, alright. Excuse me. Oh, pag tinamad ako nito, magdodota na lang ako eh. Hindi pa, kay Jong Ed Ganyu yung pulse. Aww. That's sweet. Meron na, there will be, ano eh, uh, a 10 wish, uh, what do you call that? Daily quest? <laughs> Where we get like 10 because of the uh, Chinese year shit. So don't worry about pulls, Audrey. Ang dami gagawin mo pa yung kay pervasive. What the fuck, dude? Jai. Sabay sabay kasi. <laughs> that sucks. Atay na wait na. Ang dami kong gagawin. Buti lang pala nag-stream tayo na mga bro. Some random guy said, "Shout out for bullshit." Nagpull ng berserker girl tapos si. Ano ba yun? Yeah, that's why his ultimate has a diminishing life health, life health thing. Oh, it's done. Yon tang ina mo. There we go. Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? Because you're wearing the shorts, had a whole bro. A string of strange orders in recently. Everyone's been completely caught off guard. Your father gave me specific instructions to ask you to stay and help out if I happen to see you. I see. Have someone sort the orders by type for now. I'll deal with them myself shortly. Oh, how wonderful. Thank you, master. With you on the job, I can breathe a sigh of relief. Hey, Shinshu! Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, 
Please wait a moment. Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Sinchyo. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Pray tell. Shincho, have you ever <coughs> heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. Pag nagkasa or yun talaga next patch, well. ayoko na. <laughs> Do you mean... Wait, let me just charge my the phone. The truth is, the Feiyun Commerce Guild is in possession of some Sunset Vermilionite, but only one piece. We are holding it on behalf of someone who has asked us to put it up for auction. And a lot of interested parties have already By come to us inquiring sound. about the price. No worries, Papi. Like, thank At you very much for tuning day, in. It all comes down to supply and demand. In this case, I'm guessing the final transaction price may be in excess of 500 million mora. 500 million?! That's so expensive, Honestly, bro. I would recommend that you don't bother bidding on this one. The price is greatly inflated. And it's just not worth it. Let's ask but Papi Child for some money. Sunset Vermilionite? Don't panic. I don't suppose you've ever banner. heard of Sea Gazer? Let's go come right in after. Sea Gazer? Hmm. Sea Gazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper. But if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of Drifting Clouds, Sea Gazer once built an abode to store his rarest and most exquisite treasures, among which was some Sunset Vermilionite. After Sea Gazer passed, the abode was abandoned, and its location was lost to time. Luckily, I came into possession of a folk history books just recently. They make some oblique references to this lost abode, and after cross-referencing them against each other, I'm now fairly certain that it is situated in the Lisha area. That's great! Um, but is it really okay for us to just go and take his treasure? Wouldn't it be a little, you know, disrespectful with him being an adeptus? <laughs> no. You needn't worry. As far as I understand, Seagazer was very open-minded. Even while he was alive, he wouldn't have let something like this bother him. Open-minded? I have not heard of Seagazer being described in this way before. May I ask where you read that? Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right then, let's go. Don't <laughs> Hmm. There's something about this young lady that reminds me of a good friend of mine. Oh, I almost forgot. Adepti abodes tend to have very ingenious designs, especially when it. Okay, we will be. Thanks, Shincho. All right, and we're in the position of our. <laughs> Wait, I was leaning towards my left side because my arm is nangangawit na. <laughs> But how long is this quest though? If it's very long, we might just do this one. We might skip the Enkanomiya one. Because I'm not going to pull for Shenny just to save for Kazo. Time to scout. Simp. Simp. You are a simp, sir. Kazo Simp. Boy. Let's see. Shincho said it should be around here. But Paimon doesn't see anything! It's underwater, bitch. Shut up, Paimon. Matagal yan? Really? Shit. Naihi ako? Hmm. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Bakit may bib siya? Tagaya ni Kujo, sir. Hey, look! Is that a new Seelie over there? Seelie! <laughs> Can I capture Seelies for my pet farm, by the way? Oh, hello! The Seelie got to here and then disappeared! Okay, so it says we need Geo, Pyro, and Cryo. 
Geo, Pyro, and Cryo. Yeah, let's get A John Lee would in here. Be nice. A walk would be nice. Ah, let's go. I believe this is the abode of that Adeptus. With any luck, the sunset for Millionite we're looking for should be in here. Really? Let Paimon see! Huh? Isn't that the ceiling from before? Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds! And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. All right, then let's do it! I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we... <laughs> okay, shut up. Skip, skip. <laughs> Oi! There's a trial, bro. Wait, where is the nearest one? Am I gonna fall off? When I try that domain using Ganyu and Yaku with Shenny, this gives you damage to my cryo greens. Okay. Noted, sir. Uh, by royal decree. Quake! Go. Ah. Okay. Wait, is this a legit domain after that? I uh, know after that. After this quest. Wait, lang ah. I think I might have missed one. <coughs> Got these are fire, dummy. Wait, so how am I supposed to go there again? It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? We singing up. Okay, what's so special about her skill, though? Puta fire nga palen gago. I forgot. The mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. No rest for the She's a cry support. She boosts cry damage. Team. So I should I should have used Eula then. Puta. Ali. Oi. Happy Emma. Thank you very much for liking this stream, bro. Slam! Is everyone okay? Look! The ceiling has disappeared beneath the clouds again! You're for cry team talaga siya. 
It looks like we need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Hey, Izan Pasamar, thank you very much for liking this room, buddy. Let's go kill this core. Oh. Stabilize. Oh. 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 Ah, so she's one of those classy I need to get consolation characters. Ah, no. Take your true form. Zhongli always climbing, the always climbing, and Ben behind you. Alright, let's see if we're gonna fall. This time we're really gonna fall. <laughs> so high. <sighs> Luckily there is a pool of water at the bottom. Otherwise that could have ended very differently. <laughs> Wait, this shen he is C3 nga o gago. Kaya pala upi na onde. Is there like a secret switch or something? <clears throat> ah, there's another rock. Okay. Happy, we almost have the same thing, but we have a, a bit of a different character. So, you know, fish and shiny minus either Yeah, I could have used Raiden Shogun here, but I won't because Fischl is an archer right now. Where am I? I was stuck, bro. Transfiguration. Solidify. By royal decree, my will embodied. Happy, I think there was four star art ones. What do you mean four star art ones? What? Rise. Oh, it's 
configuration. Midnight in. Wow. Owie. Gather. No rest for the wicked. Transfiguration. I summon. Crumble. Life goes on. Ang bagal namang masira nito, bro. <coughs> There we go. Indiana Jones, but oh, we're gonna run from the rock. Search for the Sunset Vermilionite. Hey, same lame charge Let's attack. Go that there. Could that be the Sunset Vermilionite? Maybe. Oh, that's nice. Is this it? Is this the sunset vermilionite? Maybe. It's so huge. That's true. But then again, why isn't it floating? Paul Strait doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around the same amount. Only after being activated does Paul Strait reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. Hold on a sec! Paimon just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? We'll be dragged up into the sky! Cry Archon. But if we don't activate it, Chong Yun. how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely. Don't worry, I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Uh, be careful. Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right! I'm unsure you can handle it and everything, but if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. Lakas naman niya. able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adept I super strength much? Okay, we so... We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. I'm not sure if there are other chests there, but yeah. Let's rush through this quest na lang. Because I wanna know how it ends. Oh, and we are currently 1 minute... Uh, 1 hour 14 minutes in the stream. Thank you very much for tuning in. <laughs> Yeah, hindi na muna kakain, so I don't have to pause the game. Mm. Let's go to the golden house! Okay, I'm gonna switch my team. <laughs> To the easy kills team. Team sexy, bro. Let's go. Ah, 
halos end na yata and or yung kay Yunjin. I'm not sure. <laughs> Is there a chapter two immediately after this? Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's gotta be one of those adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations. This item is approved for submission. Ha, palang pala I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plastrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. Maybe you go to secretary. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary. What do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plastrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhua! Shenhua! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So whenever Paimon gets praised, Paimon can't help but hold their head up high and break into a big smug smile! It's because you're wearing diapers, I've had Ian. similar compliments before. What is with her eyes, dude? They call me an adeptus. Treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, cause that's how adepti are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh... Shanna? You okay? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. <sighs> I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Takal? Makeshift hotel to take a break. <coughs> huh. Big shift hotel. Hi there. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Paimon's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. 
<laughs> I couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head to my room for now. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Clavra, Tina? What's she doing here? Let's go and say hi. Okay. <clears throat> Ini ismol ismol lang si Venti, pero tang ina mas malakas pa tayo cloud retainer. Wala ng alang siyang pera. One trust you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far so good, yeah. So you know Shen He too, cloud retainer? Naturally, save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He, to some degree. Cool! So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking, maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead! Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? Special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh, oh, right. How was she able to live that shit? Wait, what? <coughs> what? You knew already? <sighs> so is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? methods are extremely direct ah oh, yes she was like this all those years ago when one first met her in this respect she has not changed one first found Shanha by chance in a cave one was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains being of an ever vigilant disposition one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shen He, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. What the fuck? One dealt with the monster, Yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. That's still so dangerous, though! Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. 
Ingay ni Paima. <laughs> Sorry. Indeed. It is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. What the fuck? Psycho. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shen He because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion? Incorrect. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Tagal? So... 6 to 12? It says 6 a.m., right? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. For those of you tuned in, thank you very much. We are currently an hour and 28 minutes in on the stream. I'm not sure if we're halfway through this or not. 8 o'clock, Gago. I thought it was 1600, sorry. 1800, but which is. Okay. Time travel? Fuck. I was not reading the notes. Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... Very talkative. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but it turns out Paimon was wrong. It's okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. For this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real Adepti, too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend! Whether you're an Adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. 
First and foremost, we're just plain old friends. Got it. Although I don't know With quite benefits? what it entails in terms of what I have to do. I must say I like the title, friend, very much indeed. Great! Well, now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningwong's little helper how the progress is going. After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I'm going to teleport to Malapit. Damn it. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. She's like a... She's like a, a wild person with a very refined backstory. Wait. Yeah. Oh, Beidou! Beidou! Yeah, na yun jin. Look! Look! The Jade Chamber is floating into the sky! Um, but it seems to be tied down by something. That's because it's not finished. Hey, Bailin! And hey, Beidou! And hey! Um, person Paimon doesn't know? Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we've brought some new materials to submit. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Lady Ningguang is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Beto, you're joining the Jade Chamber contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happened to get my hands on a chunk of Sunset Vermilionite on a voyage a while back, so I figured I'd bring it over. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. She's scary, bro. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is... um... Sorry, I'm not oh, sure no, we've booby met. Wars. Booby Shenhua. Wars. I am there. Mm. War friend. of the big boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Good to meet you. A friend of a friend is my friend too. Or, as I like to say, a mate of a crewmate is part of the crew. Miss Yoon is also here for the contest. Turns out she needed to borrow a boat, so we came together. It's an honor to finally meet you both. I've heard much about you. Miss Shenhe. Though we are only meeting for the first time, I have a feeling that we will get along very well indeed. To be honest with you all, I am in great need of this opportunity to ask Lady Ningguang a question. That's why I joined the contest. Thanks to my father's connections, I was able to acquire a specimen of the plostrite required. Fortunately, it was approved for submission, despite being a little on the diminutive side. Wow! So it looks like the three of us are competitors now. Excuse me for prying, Miss Shenhe, but are you competing as well? No, I don't have any questions for Ning Wong. I just wanted to help him win. In that case, I have a proposal to make. Lady Ning Wong said that the first three contestants to procure all three materials will be awarded the chance to ask a question. Isn't that colluding, well, girl? There are three teams here. We can split the prize between us. 
Instead of competing against each other, we could work together to secure the top three places between us. What do you think? Sounds great, but how does that change things exactly? <laughs> I think I see where you're going with this, Miss Yoon. The plastrite was the most difficult item to source by a long shot. Luckily, all three of us managed to get our hands on it. The two remaining items aren't quite so rare, so as long as one of us finds a way to source it, the other two can hop on the bandwagon. How'd I do? Is that what you had in mind? Precisely. Huh. Interesting approach. Okay then. Alright, I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the core itself is really not that difficult to make. The hard part is getting hold of the ore used as raw materials. I'm gonna head back to the ship and ask Su Ling if he's heard of them. You guys... We will head into town and seek advice from Master Zhang of Hanfeng's Ironmongers. Thoughts? Wonderful. We'll split into teams then, and whoever makes progress first brings all of us a step closer to victory. I'm gonna take off. See you later! What question are you gonna ask, Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment, so I would like to hear her opinion. Ooh, what's the opera called? Paima wants to go see it! The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an evil spirit and an adeptus. It's called... The Divine Damsel of Devastation. Okay. Wonder Cores. Let's go. Um, where though? Putang ina to na naman. Trail for VCs. Puta. I should not have got those quests, bro. That suck. You have to finish every one of these. <sighs> Stop raining already? Oh, a shame. A I shame. To play some more. Should have done this sooner. Tang ina, at least, ba? Clean sweep na kagad yung mga world quests. <coughs> oh, show! What the fuck? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's play. Illusion shut. Crush. Batman and Buddha. All right. More speed.
Skip, skip, skip. Come on, just give me the damn story quest. Oi, done. All right, done and done. All right, 20 minutes from two hours na tayo. Just go. Tagal naman itong quest na to. I started this uh, around 30 minutes though. It's it's been an hour and 10 minutes already. More speed. Hmm? Ah, hello. Excuse me, Master Zhang. We were wondering if you'd heard of something called a Wonder Core. Of course I have. Sorry, um, who's asking? My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yun. <clears throat> Sorry, my brain's finally caught up. <sighs> it's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No, we were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> sure. Well, you'll need two kinds. Star Splinter Iron and Subrosium. If I remember correctly, Lady Ningguang sourced her Star Splinter Iron from the Mount Tianhung area. They say it resonates with visions. It could take some work, but if you stick with it, you'll find some eventually. As for the Subrosium, though, hmm, that's trickier. It's all but unheard of on the market. These are all uh, made up. I'm really not sure. Sorry. What I've heard is that the people around Mount Tianhung have some sort of magic trick that can pinpoint the location of the stuff. Of course, it's probably just hearsay. If you want my advice, start by looking for Star Splinter Iron around Mount Tianhung. And if you run into any locals, ask them a few questions about Subrosium. Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the Divine Damsel of Devastation also takes place on that mountain. I hear the view there is quite spectacular. A favorite destination of the Adepti, in fact. Perhaps it can give me some inspiration. Let's not delay. We should head straight there. Okay. All right, for those of you tuned in, thank you very much. We are doing this because I think the Zhong the Ganyu banner will be out in two days and there's going to be another Archon quest. We haven't done this yet for the last couple of weeks because, you know, me be lazy, but I came to Mount that's not the point. once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> this is quite a trip down memory lane for me. Look at these majestic towering peaks and the gently flowing streams. It's like setting foot in paradise. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devastation is said to have taken place here. Adepti wander oft where mortals seldom stride. Indeed, this looks like a place that one might expect to be frequented by Adepti. The Divine Damsel of Devastation is your upcoming opera, right? And the story takes place in Mount Tianhang. Huh. Seems like you have a real connection with this place. What's the story about, though? It's the story of a girl becoming a hero. Cool. A hero story? They're Paimon's favorite! The legend first arose in this area. It is said that there used to be a prosperous village on the mountain. In that village, there was a loving couple who were completely devoted to one another. One day, a terrifying monster appeared. 
Okay. The wife was out collecting herbs Wait, and was Arkham captured twist. by the Every monster. Every bander, there's a Her new Arkham was twist. So distraught at the news, I don't know that. broke his spirit and drove him to madness. The vile and vicious monster told the villagers, meron siyang, anin, if you want to live, you must sacrifice a child to me. What a nasty piece of work! Ugh. Paimon sure hopes this monster gets put in its place! But the monster was so terrible and so strong that all within the village were terrified of it. They had no choice but to give in to the monster's demand. Just while they were discussing whose child would be given over to the monster, a little girl suddenly stood up and came forward. No! Don't do it, little girl! Unbeknownst to anybody else, she was concealing an exorcist's blade. She approached the monster's lair, feigning fear and trepidation. When she finally arrived, she courageously drew her sword and entered into a fierce struggle with the monster from which she eventually emerged as the victor. Her extraordinary abilities drew the attention of the Adepti, and they took her as one of their own. Her story became the stuff of every legends. Patch get on every banner. But alas, win patch dun the paths ano. of mortals and Adepti Basta seldom cross, banner and she would never again I remember the mortal world. Pag may new banner, and so, new, ano, destined twist. to grace the mortal or, realm for but a brief moment, she vanished like a wisp of smoke into thin air. I really like this story. Okay. But I personally think that perhaps the little girl was... not as brave as the opera makes her out to be. I'm not sure she deserves all the praise she is given. Hmm. I've never considered that before. Opera is always an interpretation of the events it purports to portray. A certain degree of deviation from the truth is always inevitable. When my father wrote the script for this play, I suppose his intention was to inspire his audience with the character of the Divine Damsel. Hmm. I think it's a great story. I think the that's her story, story, though. Well, it sure inspired Paimon! Let's go get ourselves some Star Splinter Iron! Yeah! She's not excited, eh? I'm going to Paimon, guys. Use visions to find the star splinter iron. Brace yourself. Wait, how do I find this though? No, oh, that's a Geo Sigil, dummy. Huh? Okay, that's one. Uh, there's the other one. How did I use visions to find it though? That's dumb. This should be enough Star Splinter Iron. Now we just need to find that Sabrosium. I think I saw a village on our way here. Master Jong said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? It's pronounced as Jong, so it's that's why it's Jong Di. We were just passing by and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Shenhua, Yunjin, let's have a look around. Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's. It's. Shenhua. Shin, you're alive. The rumors were true. So, all these years, 
I'm sorry I don't know how to find Subrosium, but I think you can find some information in the village. Well, this place is deserted now. No one ever comes here. So you can rummage around all you want. Huh? You know this guy, Shenhua? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go and take a look around. Okay, don't, don't worry. Uh... Mingjun has no ill intention towards Miss Shenhe. She'll be quite safe. Okay. Then let's see what we can find in this village. Okay. Okay, then read. So, Shenha is the divine damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptus, and she is about the right age. So that's why I've been getting the strangest feeling whenever I chat with her. According to this text, the divine damsel from the opera was actually the daughter of the loving couple, and she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father oh the truth is even more lamentable than the opera now i understand why shenha said the girl was not as brave as people think it wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation she was forced into it oh it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera Oh, hey, wait, are you claiming Venti? So it seems that Shenha's father thought he was summoning a benevolent deity using a magic incantation. But in fact, he summoned an evil god's remains which took the form of a monster. His obsessive yearning for his deceased wife led to a terrible tragedy. The villagers moved away in fear, without ever learning the truth. And now, this place is deserted. Still, I do wonder what the connection is between Shenhe and Mingjun. Hey, we've looked everywhere, but still no Ming... What was that achievement, yeah. bro? Thirty wild animals. She will find long shoes, broken bridge. All right. Yeah, we'll get to that soon. <laughs> Let's have a look over there. Let's have a look over there. So basically, we need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhong at dusk, and we'll find us some- Let's go back and tell Shenhe- Alright, goddamn. I'll go for those of you tuned in. Thank you very much. One year when I was back visiting, we are one hour and fifty three minutes into the stream. Adeptus from a merchant passing by. I never imagined it was you. I was a very close friend of your father's. I could have stopped him from performing the summoning ritual. I had plenty of chances, but I couldn't bring myself to stand up to him. I just let things happen, let it all escalate. Well, we all know how that story ended. I bring flowers back here every year. And each time I wish I had a chance to apologize to you. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity, so my master bound my soul with red ropes to curb my aggression. But it also dampened my emotions, making me dispassionate, like the Adepti. So if you ask me how I feel about the past, if I hate my father or not, 
The truth is, I feel nothing at all. It must have been so tough for you all these years. Shenha, we're back! Hmm. Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha, it brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhua, look! This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake! Hm. Let's go then. Uh. Miss Shenhua, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the Divine Damsel of Devastation are not true to the facts. So I'd like to change them. Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth. But now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. Uh, huh? My master once said that the day I learn how to use my strength for the good of others is the day that I can truly become part of human society. So, I hope that one day I might be brave enough to stand up and protect others, just like the girl in the opera. But I've never thought this way before, and I wonder whether I will continue to think in this way. Don't worry. I believe you will. In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. You just haven't had the opportunity to see it for yourself yet. Shenhua! Yunjin! Cut the chit-chat! Let's go! We can't let someone else beat us to it! Shut up, Paimon. Subrosium. Subrosium. Am I gonna swim? <clears throat> we end till evening around five thirty. Five thirty. This is nice. Look for Sabrosium. Where? Is Sabrosium ducks? Oh shit, wait. Hindi siya nakaka-capture, gag. Wouldn't gliding be faster? Ah, shit. Hindi nga siya nakaka-capture. Wait, did I kill it? Oh no! You've triggered something! What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Ningguang didn't tell you. 
Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an Adeptus, I should not get involved for now. But these things can be unpredictable. I have a contingency plan of my own. Only a single mountain lies between here and Liyue Harbor. If things get out of control, I will defend this place myself. Where is the brochure? Hello, I'm back. Nakita mo na si Chi Chi. No, I haven't. But where is this Abrosium, though? There's a treasure chest. If that helps. Pota. Go. Shudder. Huh? Crush. Shudder! Huh? What do we have here? Where is the subrosium? Subrosium. More this is core lapis, bro. Yeah, thanks to sunset. Okay, so I can only check it on sunset, talaga. Oh, wait, let's go back. Time travel! Alright, two hours in on the stream. I'm sorry, the good go! Wait, wait, look. Oh, the good. My back. Saan? Wala namang sa brosyum dito. Yan ang ina. Time to scout. I'm in the quest perimeter, bro. These are just ducks. Dun sa gitna pumesok ka sa harap sa sun. There is no sun. Wait, now I'm going to say it's not going to Yeah, it's supposed to be here, but... Ayun, itong green na kita ko na. That's everything we need! Let's head back and report in! Alright. We good, we good, brother! <laughs> Sister, I mean. <laughs> Paimon! Shut up, Paimon. Wait. I need to do parametric transformer in front of Pymonetric Transformer. Yahoo! Shine down! Life goes on. Crush! Okay. Haba na tong ano, story quest na to, bro. Nasa to na leg ko. I wanna lie down, bro. Oh, goodness. So, are they okay? This is some top quality ore you found. I think I'll get a good end product out of these. Guess now it's my time to shine. Hey everyone, how's the A-Team doing? I ran into a bit of a brick wall on my end, 
Suling's never seen a Wonder Corps before, and says it'd take a lot of research for him to get up to speed. Leave the Wonder Corps to me. I'll work on them while you go about your business. Don't worry. <laughs> it won't take me too long. Much obliged, Master Zhang. We should look into the Adepti sigils next, but where should we find items relating to the Adepti? I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, you got this then? Yes. I have been training with the Adepti for years. I know a thing or two about making sigils. When we first met, I told you I came for the Jade Chamber, not the contest. In fact, I came specifically to deliver Adepti sigils. Master heard that Ning Wong was planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber, so she sent me to deliver some Adepti sigils to her. Banda Jen Si Master Chi Chi. Ayo ka nanda. I can take <laughs> this opportunity to, to rejoin bro. human society. But now that I'm here, I wonder if I've been removed from the world for too long. There's so much basic knowledge that I lack. Maybe it won't work for me to stay here after all. But either way, I'm very glad to have met you. And I'll take care of those adept eye sigils. Without knowing the ins and outs of your situation, I can't say whether you should stay or not. But now that our paths have crossed, we we'll always have a connection. Asaan! Where is the so where? Feeling down? Come find me on my ship. There'll be a drink waiting for you. Thank you. Uh, next up. So, Master Zhang, I'll need to use your facilities motel. to make the sigils. Find by me. It's a hotel, party. I'm actually curious motel to see again. how the adept eye arts work. Pero, Maybe I'll learn something. Boobzilla rin to eh. No, grabe, ang halay na ng mga Genshin Impact characters. Can, can they just make family-friendly characters for once? Family-friendly, bro. Hindi yung ganito. The sigils are ready. Though they are in some respects inferior to my masters, I can assure you there will be no quality issues. I've finished forging the things you asked for, too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else gets there ahead of us. Okay. Sabi mo nakita mo si Chi ah ito. What si Chi? Papi Hong Kai is worse talaga. <laughs> Mahahalay. Oh, it's you, Seaside. Chi Chi is helping with yes, Ning. So, but this is a side quest. Comes, don't go near this. So we papi. Papunta sa mga bounty. Ang hahalay naman nito. Can they be, be more family friendly like Venti or like mga lolis dude? Klee. Chichi ganun. Family friendly characters yo. Ang hahalay na nito. Grabe. It's, it's straight out of a doujin yo. Yung uniform ni Shen. Pati yung mate. It's like ano. Ano yun? What do you call that? Ahigaw ice. When it's an in heart shaped ice shit, the same tawag dun po eh. <laughs> But eh, uh, I digress. Let's go back to the main quest at hand and finish this. My alternative designs nga iba eh, kasi binaban sa China. Yeah, I don't think that uh, uh, that applies to women though, just the men. Wang's little secretary! We found all the materials! Oh! Already? All three of you found them together. Okay. I see. The Wonder Cores and Adepti Sigils look good. It seems that we found our winners. That's why you wonder. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beido. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plus strike yet! Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. Hmm. Why is I'd Fatso like to here? invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Huh? Where's Beido? She was right here! Captain Beido has some business to attend to. She will join later. All right, then. Guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first. This yeah. is gonna look... Let's finish this. I really, really want to do something else. Papi Robert was saying, Papi, the character is okay, horny, and there are only female characters. There is only one playable, but only a certain map. What the fuck? 
Horny. <laughs> oh, I, I'm short five. All right, it's fine. Sure, I'll play you another tune. Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Once the tethers are released, it will soar into the sky. Thank you all for your work. Now it is time for me to fulfill my promise. Yeah! Miss Yun, I've already heard something about the reason for your involvement. You are looking for a venue for your new opera, aren't you? That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your opinion. The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? Oh, that's nice. The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yun. Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Then I will prepare my props and other articles shortly. Please allow me to bring all these aboard the Jade Chamber. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Papyrus was saying, "Traveler, Shenhe, kind of a super I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes." Or do me. Eh, you know. You're next. Main character. What is your question? Troubles. I should clarify. I do not know your sister's whereabouts. Please don't waste your question on this matter. She has red eyes, but wow, you're a mind reader, Ningguang. Oh well, guess Paimon will ask a question then. Managing a successful business is not as simple as you might think. Capital, connections, sensitivity to the trends, an instinct for what is a good opportunity. All of these traits are crucial. If you want to know how to make money, I will honor our agreement and give you an answer. But that is not to say that it will work for you. Wow, Paimon hadn't even asked the question yet. Your question was written all over your face. Now look, you helped me rebuild the Jade Chamber, and I intend to repay you handsomely for it. So I promise you that should you one day require financial assistance, you may seek employment here. I will pay you at the highest rate of remuneration. Oh, great! So next time we run out of Mora, we just need to come to Ningguang? No more questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you, but I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. I'd urge you not to squander it. Yeah, just don't waste it. Uh, hold on a second. Paimon can probably think of another one. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you yourself can develop a sense of belonging in Liyue Harbor. Oh, a sense of belonging? Yes. To become fond of a place, to feel part of it. It always requires a reason. Perhaps someone you've met, or something you've experienced here. Or perhaps you enjoy the atmosphere of Liyue, and you will become accustomed to it. In short, everyone needs a reason to stay. I hope you can find yours soon. I see. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beidou! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> nah, I ain't got any questions. She forced me to help out, so I figured I may as well get involved with the contest. Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal with. I don't think my fleet can take it on their own. What is it? Don't worry. I have made preparations. 
The wound dressings are ready, and the Millilith have set up an ambush. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Stay alert. Beto? Ningguang? What are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. And we have lift off. When I first set foot <clears throat> in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform and looked down upon Liyue Harbor far below. At that time, I dreamed that one day the Jade Chamber's shadow would be seen in all seven nations of Tevat. My wish has not changed to this very day. However, it is not only out of consideration for myself that I have built the Jade Chamber anew at this time. I hope the Jade Chamber will always float in the skies above Leo Harbor, bearing witness to the prosperity uh, an and peace of think. the human world. Maybe. And not I hope sure. that you can all witness it with me. Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Yeah! Wow. Ah, one star. Shit, the bug is up in the mic. Right on cue, the Avenger of the Vortex, Beisht. Who is that? Osile's wife, final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming. Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber. I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it. Well, let's go fetch the Adepta. No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone. Yeah, boy, geocannons. Ah, oh, shit. What island is that? Jump in, dude. That was dumb. <laughs> oh, whoops, I'm gonna die. You are a cursed child. Your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others. Is the day that you can truly become part of human society. Mr. Moyan, Papa, na hindi ganon kada mo mabibigyan. Yeah, that's true. Actually, I was, I was under the impression she's gonna freeze it, bro. <laughs> oh shit! Cure it, Maru. Bangkai. No. This is like the scene from One Piece where Aokiji throws the wave after 
I think they just copied that scene, bro. After Whitebeard summoned tsunamis, Aokiji just froze the wave up front at Marine Headquarters. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Bitin? Bitin? Where the hell is Shao, dude? And Genshin are coming a lot of other games and anime, yeah. What are you Ooh. doing here? I can't let you be the only one taking this risk! I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared. Okay. And she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand. Uh, okay. Oi! What the fuck? Avenger of the Vortex Beicht. Wait, she has three heads, bro. Shudder. Chi Chi. Brace yourselves. Crush. Okay, I forgot to switch my ball to this one. Where's my NRE? Beware the god of animals. Uh, uh, I didn't feel that. Fast shudder. Vengeance will be mine. Rack and ruin. Oh, wait, I can actually burst here? Really? Burst. Hey, Hydra! Shine down! Ah, here we go! Obey! Cryo incarnate! Cryo incarnate! Beg for mercy! Damn it! <sighs> Illusion shattered! Dude, I have two Archons here, what the fuck? Can I just kill them with shit? Come on! Treasure chest. No oh, treasure chest. All right. This all right. All right. All right. Unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequence. I'm a bit hungry though. I think I'm gonna order a burger. Jolly big ya ako. Pang gusto ko na French fries na makto. Huh? Is anything open tonight? Are you okay? I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? 
Oh, these are tattoos. It's been dealt with. She was injured before entering the water. It didn't take too much effort to finish the job. Good. These are tattoos, so the crisis has been safely averted. When you visit the Jade Chamber in the future, you will be afforded generous treatment. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan Stone Forest and the surrounding waters have returned to normal. Thank you. How are the Millilith? Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Kuching's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Millilith, thank you for your service. I... Uh... Great. Then next time I watch Miss Yun's opera, I'll be able to take the compliments. Yeah, I wasn't nice. trying to be a hero, though. I just wanted Aww. to protect you. Sip. Let the soldiers recuperate, but don't let your guard down. If she returns with a vengeance, we must be prepared. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. I trust you've reached a conclusion. Hmm. You wish to hear one's opinion. Well, things would have hardly gone so smoothly had it not been for Shenhe. That I do not deny. However, final victory was always going to be ours, even had things been a little more arduous. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. <laughs> One God. has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista. And find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidenced some degree of novel thinking. You have learned from past failures and prepared for this crisis in advance. This is considerable progress compared to the last time. Hence, on balance, one finds your performance during this trial satisfactory enough. But there will no doubt be further trials to come in the future. Do not suppose that one will not continue observing you hereafter. While the position of Tianjuan remains mine, I will always ensure Liyue's safety. Shenhe, one saw you secretly venture out from the mountains a few years ago, and noticed the air of dejection in which you returned. Hopefully this trip to Liyue Harbor has been a different experience. Yes. I can't explain it, but... I feel happier than I expected. No. Mm. Good. Traveler, please take good care of Shenhe. She is a dear child. In fact, one has many fond memories of know, Shenhe's she's gonna spill childhood the that she may be interested to hear about. There'll be no need for that. Oh. They are all like this. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. <laughs> it's a, one it's an be going homeward now. <laughs> Adept <laughs> way of saying fuck you guys. I'm going home. Rest. Come to the Jade Chamber when you have recovered your energy. We must celebrate both the completion of the Jade Chamber and the fact that Liyue has weathered another crisis. This banquet must be the most spectacular ever. Yep, I'm gonna order some Burger King tonight, and we're gonna watch the opera. Dump in. Yeah, that's true. That's what. That's exactly what she did, bro. <laughs> Fuck you guys. I'm going home. I'm going to Uh huh. There we go. Wait, no. I'm gonna confirm my order. Chamber. The food here looks amazing. All of you here are my distinguished guests. I am determined that each of you thoroughly enjoys yourself. Those who don't drink alcohol, please help yourself to other beverages. Fine wine is a delight to the senses, but it is far from the only one. Fashion bar host. I trust you will find the marvelous view from the Jade Chamber to be an equally gratifying indulgence. Have you heard? Miss Yun's going to be performing today. Sure have. Honestly, it's the main reason I'm here. I've never missed any of Miss Yun's performances, and I don't intend to start now. 
I hear she's going to perform the Divine Damsel of Devastation today. The one written by the Hey, what's up, Rachel Justine? So Thank you very much for liking the stream. We are two hours, <laughs> two and a half hours in on the stream. <laughs> we just finished stage. this story quest without any skips on the dialogue. Well, some minor skips though, but yeah. If you want to rewatch, I'll upload this to YouTube and you can always, always watch on Facebook after this stream is completed. Why is she flat though? Is she a child? Ooh, fancy. What did you think? Personally, I thought I sang rather well. It was beautiful. Paimon wants to learn too. It was wonderful. Also, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks to you, the Divine Damsel of Devastation is a more nuanced tale than ever. The play has an ending, but life goes on. I believe you will find a way to fit in in Liyue Harbor. Thank you. I think I've found the opportunity I needed to change. Ms. Yun, <laughs> here you are. Great to see you. Huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of VIP. Yeah, that's it, like an adeptus. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here, the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. <laughs> this was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair, all right. We'll all have a friendly chat. Get better acquainted. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh-oh. This feels all too familiar. Okay. Shenhe's back to her old self again. Since there's a dialogue pause, I can now talk. Uh, my name is the NPC. Yeah, dude. Drunk NPCs barging up in because, you know, she has a rockin' body. But... Wait, okay, 
this might sound racist, and I apologize if it does. Tangina, I've I've been listening to the song, and I've just been hearing meow meow. Is that is that how Chinese opera is really? Meow meow. Okay, moving on. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhua. Calm down. Rage mode. <gasps> it's done. Oi, 63 moves. I need to watch some Chinese opera. Just so I can have reference though. Because all I heard was Meow Meow. <laughs> Dude, why are they singing like that? Meow Meow, what the fuck? What is okay, Dragon Feather Falls Finn? Wait, wait, wait. Is that gonna be a weekly boss? Is it gonna be a weekly boss? Oh shit. Where can I get this? Ah, the one underground, Bathismal Bishop. Okay. So that wraps it up. Wait. Two hours ago, nakatawa nga dun. All right. We're gonna do this later on in the week. Can I have a reputation reward? That again. I got big reputation here, bruh. My food will be arriving in 11 10 pm, so I still have like 40 minutes to stream. Or. I should just get these. And I should just get these. One sixty. There we go. Okay, guys. Five wishes. Banners up in two days. I'm not gonna wish. Not yet. We're gonna do. We're gonna do the Eman route. Simper better cryo. Gan you by two days time. And watch out for the next banner, which is I think that was Yaimiko solo banner, and then a Raiden Shogun. Sangunomiya Kokomi banner after that. Dual banner. <sighs> All right. Yes, gan you. Oh, na sige na. Kukunin ko na. Uh, because I want to, but because I have her bow and her artifacts, bro. <laughs> Wait, have I shown you the artifacts that I'm thinking of giving her? Wait, na Papi Emin, can you please double check this? Cryo damage here with crit rate and attack for cup. Crit damage here. Attack. Crit damage. Uh, attack, crit damage, and crit rate, crit damage, and attack. This is this is peak gun, you know. And I'm gonna give, yeah, I'm gonna give child's bow, the the Amos bow, to the Ganyu if I'm gonna get her, and I'm gonna equip child with. Yeah, I think this one, the Wind Bloom Ode. Increasing attack by thirty two for six seconds. Shit, six seconds, sampal. I think I can just get this then. Happy Emman says, yes, that could very better cryo goblet. Find better cryo goblet. Ah, wait. Since you're here, let me ask. Let me ask you then. I have many, many cryo goblets. Cause, eh. Goblet. Eh. Cryo damage bonus. Okay, I got this. Which is attack and elemental mastery. This is crit rate kasi. I can have crit rate as well. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Or this one. Good subset until RNG fucks it up. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Kaya, ano. I'm gonna do that off stream because my off stream luck is better. Oh, and wait. Actually. Since it's Sunday, I think we should farm for this, yeah? I think we should farm for this. Because... Yeah, we're gonna farm for it tomorrow. Really. Huh. Yeah, we can use... 
11, 6, 12, 600. How about we get 160 first? Crit damage by ascension stat ni Ganyo. I'm not sure. I think it's crit... Crit trait? I'm not sure. Eh. But yeah, what enemies are in here? Cryo and Pyre. Start... <clears throat> Let's go. Let's go. Crit damage pa. Ah, cool. So crit rate pala kailangan ko. So tama tama lang pala yung ano, yung yung cryo cup na yan. Okay. So I'm going to do this shit. There is no escape. Faster. Kasi I have already passed with 51 50 crit ratio. Who gain yung mika? Asa ka din kita. Oh no shit. What happened to my chat? Let's get four of her Shao's weapon. But when she uses charge attack, she has a passive that her bloom crit trait will increase by 20%. Oh, really? Okay. Mm, continue challenge. Let's get four or five of these. I'm not sure. Actually, 40% crit rate is enough for her if she uses Wanderers, Full Blizzard, she can actually use even a 20% crit rate. Ah, really? Thanks for the input, Papi. I'll take note of that when I spam her on stream in tribute to you. Are you Here we go. <laughs> Think you can get away? Ha! 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 The more, the merrier. Burn. You know what? Ever since I changed my uh, Vendi to EM instead of a slight attack. This is much better, to be honest. Condense. Six, twelve. So we use two fragile resins. We consume three condensed resin. Okay, last one. Papi Emma was saying, full EM Venti is now stronger for the data miners. Oh, really? Then we go full EM Venti then. We go meta! Shine down. Life goes on. Time for takeoff. Are you here to play with more? Retribution! Hey, why didn't they get... There you are, 
characters. There is no escape. Let's play. <laughs> Ich voll IM kann ja sehen, Tina. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Leave. Da geht's um Paga in Go. 30 minutes, pa, bro. Um, okay. Tagalin natin hindi nag long stream like this. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in, Papi. And Papi Robert, and I think it's Audrey on the third one. Three viewers lang ako yun. So, feel ko kayo na yun. So, congratulate yourselves. I'll scout ahead. Tagal nung post kanina ga. Wait, oh, forgot. I forgot. <laughs> Use two. Forge three. Upgrade shall. Ascend. Okay. Ascend. Hey, I'm thinking at GCG. Wait, I actually have spare G cash. Is it one pair? Okay, dingago. So, and the next week. That was next week, right? Anniversary stream is next week on the second. So yeah, magpapa mudbutay ng salapi. G cash, you want? <laughs> Mga mamaya, pwede niyo pang pambayad ng kuryente niyo. Other than... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Puta. <laughs> Unless you guys want it to, though. Oh, Lieutenant's Insignia, Inspector, Sacrificial Knife. Lieutenant's Insignia. Okay. Inspector, Sacrificial Knife. Hey, Nanku Day, thank you very much for tuning in. Pwede na yan, Gcash Gagu. Wait, what was that? The tenants in Sydney. I'm gonna craft for D5. Pag Gcash, send on kita everyday ng spam messages. Pang ano lang yun, ano yun? Pang stars, Gagu. Alright, and what was the last one? The thingy. Relic from Guyun. Shit, go lang! I'm still missing five, dude. No, Anna. Relic from Guyon. Yeah, we're just gonna make Havo tomorrow then. That sucks. What is this? Ah, oh, that's nice. Thank you. Bowie. Wow, he is a fragile bro. Uh, what else? This is level 17. And I need 5 more of this. Okay. Should I do it now? Huh. Wait, what's my crit rate then, if that's the case? Oi, 50%! Gago! Nice, Sue! 
artifacts. Maybe we can change some of these. Crit damage, crit rate. With crit damage, this is good. Attack with crit damage. Fucker. Yeah, we can change this. Crit damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. Yeah, we can change this to attack. HP. Fuck. Yeah, we can change that next week then. Where's my barber AQ? 20, 20, 20, 20. All of these are 20 na pala. Mm, yeah, after that, we'll be proceeding. Wait, well, actually, we can just uh, no, enhance this now. Since I have spares, yeah? Next week na? Nakuha na ako ng spear. I think my luck will run out. Wait, but anyway, thank you very much for tuning in, guys. Haba na stream na to, so isakta ng put ko. I appreciate it. You guys have a great night. That is it for that story quest, the crane and the blah blah blah. You guys have a great night. See you all tomorrow. Same time, same channel. Have a great night again, the third time. Stay safe and catch you all tomorrow. Up time towards 15 minutes. Sasakta ng leg ko, guys. Okay. Okay, okay. All right, see ya! Inazuma shines eternal!